Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos every Tuesday for you and I do an extra monthly video or Zoom call over with my patrons. If you're interested in supporting me over there, the link is down in the description. Today's video is going to be walking through the simplified newest edition of her weekly and daily planner. I also have her monthly some notebooks, some page markers, the new designs on the pouches, and the dapper desk. Now, I have done past videos where I cover all the other accessories, and they are in my simplified playlist here. I will link that simplified playlist down in the description. So if there are some of the other accessories you're wondering about, or even her binders, like her recipe binder, her home base binder, all her pins, I'm trying to think of all the other stuff, the bands, I have pretty much notepads talked about it all in previous videos i'm going to link that playlist for you so these are the main things we're going to go over in the video today and i'm excited to share them with you you know some years there's not that big of tweaks with the planner this year the biggest tweak i would say are bringing back the old happy stripe colors to the tabs and i will show you what the previous ones looked like so these are the old happy stripe colors brought back to the tabs. That means every month is a different color now. And I love the addition of the inside pages, not all being navy, that your inside end pages match and change with whatever cover you have picked. I really love that. Every planner comes with a little fresh start guide. So look for that in your box. If you are new to Simplified, it just takes you through um, the different things that Simplified offers you kind of on the blog and in emails. And the same thing with her newsletter, which comes with every purchase now. It has just some fun coloring and word search in it, but also Q and A's and a little bit about each person that works at Simplified. So that will come with your order also. Let's start by walking through the daily. Then we'll do a little comparison with Dapper Desk and the daily. Even though I do have a full comparison video of that, a really detailed one up here on YouTube of just comparing Dapper Desk and the daily. But we will do just a short comparison here of the updated version. And then we'll go through the weekly, the monthly, and all the accessories. I did pick up two covers in the daily because the daily is a planner that I have used in the past for about four years straight. I used the simplified daily as my daily planner. I always used it in conjunction with a weekly planner. It used to be plum paper was my weekly planner when I first started this channel. And I have since been an Erin Condren for like the last three and a half, um, almost four years for my weekly. I do have a quarterly planning updates playlist. If you're interested in my personal planning, I will link that playlist down in the description also. That's where I give a personal planning update every quarter about what I'm using, how I'm feeling about my planners and journals, and what's changed from the quarter before. So I'm not in Simplified right now for my daily, but it was a planner that obviously I used for a long time, and so obviously I liked it. I love, love, love the color change. It comes with a sheet of stickers now in your pocket. Some functional, some just cute. It has a good functional pocket that is thick up front. Oh, we're just gonna focus on the planner, but I wanted to show you the two covers. That's what I was gonna do. I ordered two covers, and this is what I was explaining. I completely lost my track. That I like to have one that I don't do any personal writing in, so I often pick up the Simplify Daily, and sometimes I'll use it on busy days because I'm just using a notebook for my daily list right now, or I wanna play around with it for something or other but I don't like to have a copy with all my personal information in it to share in like my top five daily planners, you know, video at the end of the year or to share my daily planner comparison videos that come out. So I like to keep a completely blank one for that. And so I picked out the Kelly Green Bee cover for me to use when I'm picking one up to use and I picked out the blue gingham to keep blank, but I really love the blue gingham too. It's beautiful in person. It's just so simple and fresh. I'm a big navy gold person, so pairing the navy with the gold and the light blue, it just reminds me of summer and the beach. It's beautiful, but I love Kelly Green also and love bees, so I do really like both of these covers. Although I have pointed out before, honestly, I don't see my cover in my daily planner. When I am using my daily planner, it is always flipped to the day that I am on. And then I just flip it to the next day. And since I don't transport since I don't transport my planner out of the house, this is really that's all I see. 
So I see the edge of the cover most of the time and I see the color on the inside. And for the last couple of years, she's only done navy on the inside of every planner cover. And so I love, as you can see, if this is my inside view, I love that she's changed the color on the inside. Um, just because, you know, only seeing navy year after year gets old. And I like that you get a different color with each cover choice. So that is why I ordered two covers and I just thought I'd give you an up close view. I can't, that means I should have done my pen test in this one. Let's make sure I did before, yep, mm -hmm, we did that. And actually I think we'll just start with the pen test so that we don't forget about it. But I wanted to just share what this cover looks like in case any of you are looking for it. All her rings are the bright gold shiny rings. You have the metallic bees in gold on here and lots of the metallic gold on the bee planner. You have the gold corner covers. So I just wanted to give you a look at this one if this was the planner you were looking at. I personally have never had any issues with my O-rings from Simplified. If your rings are ever loose, if you're not familiar with O-rings, just push them. Give them a book big push and put them together. I mean, that's how people actually have changed their covers on Simplified and combined years together, started theirs early. They just pull each O-ring apart and keep pages in order and reload them on here. So the O-ring can be pulled apart to do that and push back together. And like I said, it's a pretty big O-ring because you have your whole year in here and you have 70 pound paper, but I personally have never had an issue. My O-rings for Simplified have always functioned well. And in fact, I always was pretty rough on mine, grabbing like one of the middle rings every time I wanted to flip my book. And mine have always held up well. Let me give you a look into just one of my old well-used Simplified planners. I happen to save one. If you look in here, I use my planners. I write all over them. I love them. Um, there is nothing beautiful or scrapbook like about it. It's a daily planner. It is, you know, what I would live and die by every day. My list, my notes for the day. And so that is my used one. And this is a good time to talk about the previous tab colors. Your tab colors used to rotate between these six colors. This was her happy stripe, but not the original one. The new tabs go back to her very first original happy stripe. So it would rotate through these six happy stripe colors in your year. Now the tabs are changed, as you can see, and we'll pull the first tab back, which is navy, so you can see, and you get a different color tab for every month. I personally like bringing back the old happy stripe. It's kind of lighter to me. I like having a different color for every month and not rotating back through. And like I said, they're just lighter to me. So I love the tab change and the throwback that it is. And like I said, we're gonna start with the pen test and we will get to the Dapper Dust comparison. Here's my pen testing. Let's go over the price. The price is $60. Your cover is seven by 9.25. The weight is 1.7 pounds. It's 1.25 inches thick. Your pages are six by 8.75. So, you know, they're smaller than a seven by nine planner. And then, but your cover is seven by 9.25 because your cover comes out quite a bit to cover the tabs. And then you have, you have only four notes pages in the front of this planner. You have thick 70 pound Mohawk via paper. Here are all my pens tested. You have dark mild liners, the dark EC dual tips, dark paper mate flares. And if you turn and look, you can see how the good, it, the paper feels really nice. It's a nice Mohawk via luxurious paper. I mean, you can see a little bit of ghosting, but there is no bleed through and the paper handles pen very well. It is a smoother paper, but not slick at all. So it's not like a plum paper slick at all but it does not have the tooth that an Erin Condren paper has. Also, Erin Condren paper is 80 pound, if you're wondering, comparing that. So that is the difference. Erin Condren paper is also Mohawk paper, but they both have their own blend of Mohawk paper. So they are different and they are the different pound weight. So that is our pen test, all about the paper weight and the specs of the planner. Now, if you're comparing it to Dapper Desk, Dapper Desk is $62. So you know, very similar in price to the $60. This year they added the beautiful floral end pages, which I think, oh, good choice, really love that. Dapper Desk, the main difference is that it's a bound book, 
and you get full pages for Saturday and Sunday, and there is no color in the book. So those are the main differences. It's very portable, especially if you buy one of their bands and stick it on here. It has one ribbon page marker, no pockets at all. Let's do our walkthrough of the Coil Daily first, and then we'll go to the Dapper Desk. You have your nameplate page. You get a letter from Emily. You get the process of simplifying and how to use your simplified planner. You have a full look at 2021, 20, 2022, because this planner starts in August being the academic year planner. Their calendar year planners launch usually, I'm trying to remember, like around the first week of September. I don't have a date yet for that. If they've announced it, I can't remember. And so they launch around that time. They are the same covers because they do their big cover launch, all their changes, at academic year and nothing changes in their planner for calendar year. So everything will be exactly the same for the calendar year planners. If you can wait until, you know, a Black Friday sale, if you're doing a calendar year planner and you don't mind if like a cover is sold out, then you can get a great deal on your planner. They also run, you know, sales like maybe Memorial Day, I can't remember, near the end of when the academic year, you know, is getting close to launching their their calendar year, you can get a deal on an academic year. So those are things to think about. You have a full holiday list for 2021, 2022, because this runs August through July, 2022. You have some guidance on preparing for a new year pages, ideas for new routines, morning routines, evening routines. They walk you through this prep. And then they give you the simplicity challenge, which is really just a 30 day challenge to clean out and simplify your house and your routines. You have a yearly bucket list here. I personally never use bucket lists, but I do use sometimes the bucket list pages just for recording like the fun memories that our family has had or memories I've had with my kids, fun things we've done. And then you have your four notes pages. Those are the only notes pages you get in the entire planner. They are lined. They say notes in pink cursive script at the top of the left-hand side. And those are your only notes pages, like I said, for the entire planner. Then your tabbed page opens right to your month, but the page is not any thicker than your other paper, but mine have always held up well. Your tab is a laminated tab. And like I said, I never had any trouble with my tabs. When you look at your month here, you will see there is a big space for a header and that makes your boxes a little bit smaller. I personally would like to lose a little bit of header space, bump it up and make my boxes a little bigger. The design of the page is beautiful. You have a note space. You know, you could write a quote in there or what goal you're working on for that month. They give you a simplicity tip every month. Like this one is use the month to clear the clutter in your home, walk your house with two trash bags, one for items to donate and one for items to discard. So every month it's a different simplicity tip along those lines. You have a look at your previous month at a glance and the upcoming month at a glance on your monthly layout. When I used my monthly layout in here, I love to use the little dot stickers that Simplified sells for all my appointments. And so I would just choose one color per month. I didn't color code my appointments. And, you know, I might choose navy to go with navy, their navy dot. And then every appointment would stand out to me because I would put one of their little dot stickers on there. So that's what I like to do. When you look at the page layout, you have 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, and no half hour slots, but your line is long enough. You could divide it for half hour appointments. You have a big header at the top if there's something you need to remember for the day or you want a motivation or a focus for the day, or to write if it's somebody's birthday. You have 16 to-do list lines, which are 2.25 inches long. Now, let me grab my ruler because I didn't note this. Your to-do list lines, though, are shorter than your timed appointment lines. So if you like a long space to write, that is something to note. Let me go to here where it's easier to measure on this side. If I'm not counting in the time and I'm just counting the line, then they are about the same. If I'm just counting the length of the line, it's also 2.25 inches. If you are looking at just, so I'm going till the end of the page where you have a little bit more room to write and that's 2.25 inches. If you're going just the line, it's really just like 2.1 inches. Your to-do list line is a tiny bit shorter than your timed appointment line which I would prefer them to be equal or in fact, make my timed appointment line shorter and give more 
like room for me to write my to-do list. This is after me using years, the planner for years. And obviously I loved it, but these are just the things that I would personally change. Every day of the week is given a color and it rotates the same throughout the whole planner. So Fridays are always yellow. Saturdays are always light pink. Sundays are always hot pink. Mondays are navy. Tuesdays are a dark teal. Wednesdays are a light teal and Thursdays are a green. And then you're back to yellow Friday. It is rotating through those happy stripe colors where it says my day and to do and the notes. The daily color is carried over to those. I really like that little detail to the page. I, I just like that that color is carried over to those little notes. Then you'll see your weekend is split horizontally on your page and you don't have any time slots for the weekend. You just have your to-do tick off boxes and then you just have your my day. So you could write time to schedule there or it could be more to-dos. You have Sunday prep pre-printed on every single Sunday for you. Some people love this. Some people don't love that it takes up their to-do list lines on a Sunday that's already small because Sunday you also get a bigger space to write a happy memory from this week here. So if you wanted to look back over your whole planner of the year and you record a happy memory every week. I love the idea of that, but I always needed more room on my Sunday with so much of it taken up with the Sunday prep tasks, which I think are great tasks, but I would just prefer to have the lines blank for me to write in my own tasks. These are just my preferences after using the planner for so many years. And so that's your basic layout for your simplified planner and the way that it flows. Now let's compare that to Dapper Desk. And like I said, there's no other notes pages. When you get to the end of a month, it just, you know, you have your monthly layout and you're going straight through your days in the next month. So it really is simple. It is just for you to make your daily schedule, your daily list, or time block your day if you don't have a lot of appointments, which is what I did a lot in my planner when I was trying to be realistic about how much I could get done, when I would literally map out how long it took me to work out and shower, how long homeschooling took, that type of thing, meal prep and eating, then I could look at my day and be like, whoa, Okay, I could be a lot more realistic about what I could get done. So if you've never done that before, that's, it, it was a useful tool to me. When you look at Dapper Desk compared to Simplified with the Coil, it is a lot more portable because you don't have the Coil, you don't have to have the bigger cover to cover your tabs. And so if you look at the size difference, it's big. You know, you have at least an inch on this side, you have over an inch, probably an inch and a half on that side. No more than that. It's a big difference. It's just a lot more portable of a book. If you're going to be throwing it in your bag every day and taking it to the office, I personally would go with a dapper desk because, you know, the coil, if it's going to be thrown in a bag every day, you will have to probably be careful with that. So that is something to think about. Size wise, the pages are exactly the same though. It's just in a lot more portable of a book. Your dapper desk lays completely flat. It's, it's a really good design. It does lay flat. If you're writing like at the very beginning pages, um, the cover is supportive enough. So it's a little bit bendable, but it's pretty supportive. It is supportive enough for you to be able to write on it and give you something hard under there. But I might even stick like a little book or journal under here if I was just at home and writing in it in the beginning. But the cover is supportive enough to do that. And then as you go throughout, if you just massage your pages throughout, because I've barely even opened this one, the way that the spine is designed, it really does lay flat. It does a good job of that. Something to note is that, yes, um, I've seen people talk about this bend in the spine, and that's just with this vegan leather and with the type of spine design to lay flat, that's just going to happen. So you have to be okay with that. This is a beautiful book to sit on your shelf afterward. Dapper Desk also comes in its own beautiful white box. It's different from the navy boxes that Simplified Planner comes in. And so it's a white box that has a removable lid. It's a nice storage box too. It has a dapper desk in gold on the back. And this one just says the year in a printed script. Really beautiful. I love this new blush option this year. It's a very soft cover. Um, so it feels really nice in hand and they have those beautiful end pages. When you get into it, you have a look at 2021, 20, 2022, all your holidays. I really like the um, font that they have picked for that. 
And then all your monthly layouts are up front because of it being an untabbed planner, all your monthly layouts are up front. And I think that works really well for this book. As you'll see, there is no color on the page. You don't have a simplicity tip up here. You don't have a look at your previous month and your next month at a glance. You just have the month printed. You can write a goal. You can write a quote. You have a good amount of room up there. You have notes. And then that's it. You, It's just, it's so clean, so simple. Your holidays are noted. And I probably did not show that in here, but your holidays are also noted by a light gray in your daily here and on your daily page. If you have a holiday, it's noted at the top section in the color for that day. I also like that little detail. When you have a holiday, let's find one in here, it is noted at the top of the page under the date right there. So it is a little bit different. You have rounded corners in this book. Both monthlies are your typical Sunday start. And so you go straight through all your months in here. So if you wanna add color and stickers, this is the perfect slate to do it because there are absolutely no colors. And if you do not wanna add colors and stickers, then you just you know use pen and highlighter. You have a very blank slate, clean, crisp look. The holidays are noted darker. They are noted in the same dark print that the numerals are noted in here on your monthly, whereas the coiled, as you saw, they were done in a lighter gray print. So that is a difference. Then you go straight into all your days and you don't have any months that break up your days because they're all up front. So, I mean, I like having all my months together in my little monthly notebook that I actually use for my monthly. So I don't mind that at all being up front like that. Like I said, you have one ribbon. And then of course you can pick up some magnetic page markers if you wanted to be able to mark other pages. This paper is a little bit different. It's the same pound weight as the daily paper in here, but it is the Mohawk via vellum, which makes it just a little bit different. To me, it feels thicker. So it feels even like a more luxurious paper that they use in here. And you have your date printed at the top. You have 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. You have the same amount of slots, but it seems like a little bit more writing room just because of the bound page here. And the way it's done, I think it is a little bit longer. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a teeny bit longer, like maybe 0.25 of an inch. Yeah, so it, it's a little bit longer of a to-do line because it seems like they can bump this further over. And you, know, you don't have the coil here when you're trying to write the to-dos here. You just have your page here. The only thing I don't love is I love to just see one page of a daily planner at once, and that's just a personal preference. But I do love not contending with the coil and having that. I, I've known several people who have used this kind of as a journal of their days because it's such a beautiful bound book. So if you're not using it as an agenda planner, that is an option. Let's go over the specs on this one. Your cover is 5.8 by 9.1. Your pages are 5.6 by 9. Your book is 1.25 inches thick. The weight is 1.8 pounds. And I believe the weight of this one I wanted to say 1.7, yes. Interestingly enough, the weight of this one they have listed on their site is 1.7 pounds, and this one is 1.8, but that's like one ounce. You have the leather uh, vegan cover, and then here's our pen test, and if you look at it, to me, it performs just about the same, even though it feels a little bit thicker, it performs the same as the daily, and that is a look at the back of it and what your page looks like. No bleeding, you can see a little bit of ghosting. Now, the amazing thing about Dapper Desk is that you get full pages for Saturday and Sunday. So you come here and instead of Saturday and Sunday splitting your page and having very little room for Sunday, there are no pre-printed tasks for the week in this one on Sunday at all and just full pages. Every day is the same in this book and that's how it flows. It flows to the end, and you do get some note pages at the end here. If I counted correctly, that's 27 note pages, so another advantage to Dapper Desk is you get 27 note pages versus the four that you get in the coiled simplified daily, and all of those are at the back of your planner and end with the same beautiful end pages. So Dapper Desk is really a unique daily planner, in my opinion, and a beautiful book. 
I feel like it's not as well known or as well used as the coil version, but I think it has a lot of advantages as you see. All right, we're gonna go through the weekly next. I'm gonna show you the two covers just to start with that I picked up in the weekly. I picked up the beautiful blue hydrangeas and the fuchsia. I'm not even gonna try to say that word because I didn't research it first and I'm probably gonna say it wrong, but it is beautiful. I was shocked that I decided on this one as kind of a game day decision because I'm not a hot pink person at all, but I really loved all the colors included it. The included the blues, the greens, the lemon yellows, and I just thought it was beautiful. And it was out of the norm of what I usually pick, and so I picked it up. And the blue hydrangea being with navy and blues and golds, it's kind of in the realm of what I would normally pick. The inside of this one is a beautiful like peony pink, and we went with the light blue on this one. Your sticker sheets are the same, whether you're picking a daily or a weekly. Your weekly is $50, so either one of these, it's a completely hardback. It's a very small, portable book. I will show it next to the daily here for you. So the daily, it fits over it with room to spare with the big coil and at the top, super slim. It's just, it's a lot smaller than the daily. We'll see it with the dapper desk to just kind of compare. And let's see, that's the weekly on top of the dapper desk. You can see just kind of the size difference there. And then we are gonna go into, I believe this is the one where I did my pen testing. Yes, and that's gonna be the one that I'm going to share. But I wanted to give you a look at this one too in case you're trying to decide on covers. This little weekly planner is just such a tiny little book. I've tried to use it off and on for so many different things. It could never be my main planner for my weekly because for me, I prefer a vertical for my weekly. And also it's just a bit small for me for a weekly, but it really is just so cute and portable. I love the stair step tabs. It makes it so easy to turn to your monthlies. I have used it before just for the monthlies because I do love the look of her monthly layout. Let's look at the pen test. The paper in this is listed as the same as the daily, although so many people say that it feels different to them, but I think it performs about the same. Even if it is, you know, it's all their Mohawk 70 pound blend of paper, but maybe they do have a different blend, you know, a little bit to work with their weekly. I don't know, because I have no inside information, but there's the back of my pen test. And you can see nothing is bleeding through and just about the same ghosting as the daily to me. This one is 6.5 by 8 and 0.75 thick. It weighs 15.25 ounces. And so it's not even up to a pound. It's barely under a pound. The page is 6.25 by 7.75. It has 31 notes pages in here and the same four pages of prep work. So let's look at that in the beginning. You have your nameplate page, and then you go into the same letter from Emily. This is all the same information that's in your daily, the process of simplifying, how to use your simplified planner, your year at a glance look for 2021 to 2022, all your holidays for that, preparing for a new year, ideas for new routines, um, all the same that's in your daily, the simplicity challenge, the bucket list, and then you have four notes pages up front. But the difference in the weekly is that you have more notes pages in the back. There are uh, 31 total notes pages. So at the back, you have a really good amount of notes pages. They're all lined. And it says notes in a light pink on the left-hand side. And you have a good header margin at the top. So I do appreciate that they were able to add all those note pages in here. This book does a really good job of laying flat if you massage it. So as you work through it, you do have to give it a good massage and give it a chance to be able to train to lay open, you know? And if you really want every week to lay perfectly open flat on your desk and always be open, because I used the monthlies that way before, then I would set kind of like a journal on it overnight and then it would like be trained for that week. And then like the next week, I might do the same thing. But as you go through the book, it gets easier and easier to train it because the pages are already pushed back. Here is a look at that spine on here. Oh, it just feels so lightweight, you guys. You go straight in after your four notes pages. Tabs always open straight to your month. 
and you have the same thing that you get in your daily, your previous month, your next month, your simplicity tip, the layout looks exactly the same as your daily. Your boxes are just a little bit smaller, but honestly, they are not that much smaller. Let me show you. If you look at the weekly versus the daily boxes, these are like 3.2 centimeters long, and that's three centimeters long. And these are like 3.3 centimeters across, and this is like 3.2 centimeters across. So the boxes are actually very close in size to one another. As you can see, the header is smaller in the weekly, so they are giving more room to the boxes. The header is bigger in the daily, and that's why the boxes are almost the same size in both. Then you go into your weekly layout, and we're gonna look at another, a clean page, since I already did the pen test here. You get one ribbon page marker, and the color of it changes based on the cover that you have in your book. Your weekly layout is a horizontal, like I mentioned. Now here, I do feel like they've used all the page real estate. You know, they start your date at the very top. You have 10 to-do list lines and 10 lines to do whatever you want with. Many people put their appointments over here, but you could do anything. You could put your top three for the day over there, plus your workout down here. You could put your top three plus your dinner down here. So however you wanna use that side, and then you have your to-do tick off boxes. You have the same daily colors repeated in here that you have in the daily. So all, all those same colors for each day of the week are the same ones that are in the daily planner and go throughout the entire year. You have room on every day if you need to write a little something like a happy birthday or something, a focus for that day, except for Saturday and Sunday. You don't have that same room. So in your weekly layout, Monday through Wednesday left side, Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday on the right side. Saturday and Sunday are very small in this weekly planner. You have to know that going in, you have to not need much room for Saturday and Sunday, especially because how many lines? Four of your Sunday lines are taken up with the Sunday prep. Your, your prep says, I haven't read this yet to you, plan meals for the week ahead, tidy up for a clean slate on Monday, write tasks, appointments for the week, fill your tank, enjoy what matters most. Now, I agree those are all great things to do for the week ahead. I just personally don't want them pre-printed in my planner because they're not something that I would pre-write in my planner and I needed that room for Sunday. I've had friends who've used this just for a work planner and that makes it great or a like kind of a homeschool planner, keep track of their kids' virtual schooling because you don't need Saturday and Sunday in those instances. So if you use it for something you don't need Saturday and Sunday, I think that's great. It makes a great planner for that. If you don't need a lot of room on Saturday and Sunday, it works great. Just take that into account. You only get five lines on Sunday and then you get like four extra lines on Saturday. So for nine lines and that's all you are getting. So that is a look at your weekly layout and it's very easy to flip to your months with the stair step tabs. Your monthly color up there matches your monthly tab. So I love that detail also that the monthly color is carried over to the monthly tab and you have a different color for every month and they match the daily planner. And these just seem new and fresh since it's the first time they've come back to these original happy stripe tabs. And your stair step tabs, the way they work, they just keep getting longer and longer. And on the back of your page, they are carried over there but it doesn't bother me at all. I, I enjoyed those tabs in the planner when I have used this planner. And so that is the end. My little sister, in fact, was using this planner this year and so was my mom. And this is a planner I've used off and on. I've tried to use it as like, you know, an extra planner, maybe tracking food and fitness, tracking wellness. I've tried to use it before when I was using weekly planners as my daily planner to just list out all my daily tasks. I often did that in horizontal planners, but this one just was not quite big enough for me, but I love so much about it. I've tried to use it for so many different things in my life because it just is so darn cute and feels good in hand. Let's go over this brand new product, the monthly notebook, brand new to Simplified, it comes in two covers. It is $18 for this, it's stapled, not sewn, beautiful design on the outside in my opinion. A very good heavy duty cover, really thick laminated type of, not laminated, but coated feel that water will not absorb into it. 
Even that coded, coded feel carries over into the inside cover. You have a nameplate page. You have a look at your whole year at a glance, your same holidays. Then you come in here. I've written some of the stats of this monthly planner. So it is 8 by 10. It weighs 5.5 ounces. It is listed as the same 70-pound Mohawk via paper that is in their daily and weekly planners. It has 13 notes pages, and this cover is called Carolina Blooms. And like I said, it's $18. The monthly layout is exactly the same that you get in the weekly or the daily. It looks exactly the same. There is a huge header, so it mimics the daily in that sense. You have your last month and next month, the simplicity tip, and the notes. And your boxes are, let's see, about... 1.75 inches by, I need to turn this you guys, by a little over 1.25 inches. They're definitely, I feel like, spacious boxes because it's an eight by 10, but they could have been bigger if the header wasn't so big. Or I just wrote in some stuff on here, testing some different pins and writing events in to see what it would look like and show you on the next page. You flow straight into your next month. Your notes pages are all at the end. So your next month this is what all the pen looks like on the page I think it it handled the pen wonderfully it looks exactly like the 70 pound paper in the daily and the weekly your holidays are noted in a very light gray like they do in the daily and the weekly planner and that is the way your months flow just completely in a row so if you just need a monthly planner like a bigger one I feel like this is a great option I use just a monthly notebook planner myself, but I use a small version. I use Ashley Shelley. I think it's five by seven on my desk. And I love that sitting up on an easel. It takes the place of a wall calendar for me, of which I used to always use a wall calendar. This one is a bit big for me to use for my purposes. But if you're going to have it just open on your desk all the time, and I like to see my monthly view. So I do love the simple look of the simplified planner. And maybe next year, if these sell well, maybe they'll make another size. Maybe they'll make one a little bit smaller. I love this option. I love that they make, kept it slim and they didn't put a lot of notes pages or pages in between the months. So you can just plan flipping month to month because that is how I do in my monthly. And then you have your, what did I say? I think I said 13 notes pages um, at the end. It just says notes in navy blue and they're all lined in light gray. I think it was beautifully done, and I think it's a great addition to their line. Um, I think that it was a long time coming. I heard lots of people ask for this, so hopefully it sells well so that they might be able to do you know, other sizes of monthlies because I would personally like to see that. Let's wrap it up with a lot of the accessories. So the bookmarks, I only picked up these three or four this time. The bees, the gingham, the fuchsia and the navy hydrangea and i didn't want to take these out of packages because i use these for gifts a lot they work so well mailing with a card if you're just mailing someone a card you don't even need to put any extra postage on it to add one of those in but i thought i would show you one that i already have open i actually don't use these in my planners at all but what we use these in is just when we're reading novels any kind of books homeschool books we use these all the time in those type of books in our house. So they are used a lot, just not in a planner. Now it is like many of these, if you're rough with these, you can tear them apart in the middle. But since I'm not rough with mine and my kids are older who use them, ours have actually lasted a good long time. But just to let you know that, you know, you're not going to want to give these to young kids because they're just going to tear them. I mean, I could probably tear this one right now if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I mean, it's not tearing and I'm pulling on it, but you know what I mean. If it's done over and over, you have that middle section that can tear through. But I actually haven't had any of mine rip on me because I don't do that. And like I said, I love to use them in novels, books, homeschooling books, and also to send as gifts because I just think they're beautiful. Their, do their designs are beautiful. So even if you don't need one of their planners, I love that they put their designs on other things so you can pick up something with your favorite design for that year or pick up some things with all the designs for that year, you know, or your favorites if you can't decide. And if the planner is not the one for you, you can still get their beautiful designs. And I really like that option. These are $5 each, which I realize, you know, are pretty pricey for a bookmark, but you're paying for the, the design and the simplified brand. And I think 
They make beautiful gifts and I just like to use them in my books too. Their mini notebooks also make beautiful gifts. You can stick a pen with it or don't stick a pen with it. I wanted to keep mine wrapped for possible gifting, but I will show you a previous one that I have and just pens in it. So they don't have listed the paperweight as far as I know on their site of this, but you have rounded corners. You have a pineapple at the bottom of each page. It has light gray lines. You have a good header at the top. It is a stapled book. Mine have always held up well. Um, I always kept one in my purse for a church just for any kind of notes I wanted to take there. So it's just really slim and fits in there. Her covers are just stunning. And like I said, that's why I think it makes a good gift because who doesn't need just a beautiful, cute little notebook? So once again, I love that you can pick up the different designs in these notebooks and that they're packaged so nice. They're just, they're already packaged for you to be a gift. Now, I have reviewed these pouches in the past and I have reviewed the smaller pouches in my video from last year. So that will be on my simplified playlist if you wanna check those out and like compare these to the smaller pouches. This year, I'm just showing the new designs since I already have those old designs or the designs that have been here in my past year video. This year, I it's the Thin Happy Stripe and I really like it. It's really cute on this pouch, like so fresh, makes me think of the beach. These are vegan leather. You can fold them up. You can spill anything you want on them. Um, you can throw a whole bunch of stuff into them like to transport stuff around the house. I've thrown a whole bunch of washi tape in here or a whole bunch of cards, like if you're mailing out Christmas cards or Valentine cards and taking them to the post office. These are both navy lining. Their material, one thing I would say is these pouches, along with all the other planner pouches I've gotten from other companies, so they're no different. They come with a, a fishy smell, so it's just something in the manufacturing. I usually pull mine out and leave it out in the garage for a couple weeks to air out because I'm very sensitive to smell, and then it seems to leave. Um, you could probably get rid of the smell in like a day if you would just put it out in the sunshine. I just never have because I feel like I'm going to forget about it out on the back porch and then it's going to rain. So I just usually stick them in the garage. But sun really removes odor faster and the fresh air. So if you can put them out in the sunshine and put a note to bring them in, you can get rid of that smell fast. They have a really cute gold pineapple pool and a gold zipper. And I just feel like they've done a great job on these pouches. Um, I got this pull a little bit twisted weird there, but they really do slide well and pull well. And I will show you how the planners fit in here. You can even fit up to the daily. So the weekly fits, the dapper desk fits, the daily fits. It's a great protection for your planner. If you are sticking it in a bag every day, I would highly recommend the coil daily be in a bag like this because it will really protect your coil. Now, I know we're probably going to have questions about if the weekly fits with a daily. There is the weekly. A weekly does fit with the daily. So you could put another notebook in there, definitely, because the weekly fits right in there. It's so tiny. And, of course, the dapper desk fits well um, but won't fit with the daily in there. But the dapper desk and the weekly would fit also in there. So I just I think their pouches are a great product, especially to protect their planners and you can have everything matching and with the cute designs. And who doesn't want that, right? And that can go with you, you know, wherever. So I love the idea of these for planners, but they can also be used for so many other things. All right, guys, that wraps up our walkthrough of the 2021-2022 Simplified Academic Year Planners and New Accessories. I do have $10 off if you are brand new to Simplified and you have not started an account with them yet or placed any orders. You can get $10 off your first order by signing up down at that link in the description where it says $10 off Simplified. You sign up for an account and they will email you a $10 off coupon very quickly. I think your purchase has to be $50 or more to use that $10 off coupon on your first purchase. I am also an affiliate with Simplified. And so if my videos have ever helped you, anytime you're making a Simplified purchase, you can make it through my affiliate link, which is down in the description there. I, you can also bookmark my affiliate link. And so you don't have to remember to come to it when you're making a Simplified purchase. And that is the way that I am able to, number one, earn a small percentage of your sale and be able to buy products because none of these were sent to me. They didn't send me a launch box or anything like that. So to be able to buy products with my referral points 
and or the small percentage of your sale that I earn and be able to review these for you. So none of these were sent to me. I bought these all on my own. I was not sent any launch items. All right, guys, thanks for supporting my channel in that way. I would love to hear what you think of Simplified, if you're using it this year, if you're using it in the past. Let me know what you love about Simplified, even what you don't love. I love to hear it all. Leave that down in the comments. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.